everyone, welcome to my bedroom. I've never shot in here before, so this is something very new. And today I wanna talk about success. The new year is almost here, or it is, depending on when you're watching this. And I think this is the time where a lot of us like to press the restart button and maybe create some new goals for ourselves. And Rogaine recently challenged me to share a story on how I defy my DNA, which basically just means something that you're susceptible to or born with. And I've never shared this on my social platforms, but I have always struggled with ADHD, specifically getting easily distracted, comprehension issues, and feeling anxious. This is a formula for being an absolute reckless teenager. I was terrible and had the hardest time in from elementary school on up to high school. But as I got older, I figured out different ways to manage my issues. And I feel like they not only helped me, I think they also put me on track that has led me to some major successes in my life. And I wanna share it with you. And I'm telling you, you do not have to have ADHD to find these tips helpful. Whether you are in business or school or just life, these are the things that I use every day that you can easily integrate into everything you do. Figure out what your passion is and pour yourself into it. My biggest issue with being a tremendous failure in school was because I hated what I was studying. I hated what we were talking about in class. I was so bored. I had zero passion. I mean, I have my report cards right here that I can't believe that I saved and it's kind of weird. Um, F, D, D, F, D, D, F. Oh, I got a C. Oh, good Lindsay, F. This is embarrassing, but this is an example of me having zero passion for school. And it wasn't until that I could choose and figure out my passion that I thrived and it made me excited to wake up every single day. So I know many of you guys are like, I don't know what my passion is. Or you're like, I have this job that I have to do every day. I can't go figure out what my passion is because my passion probably doesn't pay me any money. Well, I understand that there are specific situations, but think about little things that you can do weekly that really make you tick and make you feel like there's purpose in your life. It is so important. Honestly, passion and doing what I love is what keeps me on track and focused every single day. It is massively important and is literally everything. So I hope that you will find little ways that you can incorporate your passion into your everyday life. Sometimes you gotta put yourself in jail. It's inevitable that in life, you gotta do things that you just don't wanna do. I mean, even in my business, there's a lot of things that I don't wanna do, like read contracts or, you know, certain emails, but you gotta do it. So what I do, instead of procrastinating when I know there's something that needs my focus, I will say to myself, Lindsay, you gotta put yourself in jail right now. You can't go anywhere. You're pretty much in like four walls with no windows. You have got to focus. And I'm telling you, this is a mind trick that really works. And just saying that affirmation, Lindsay, you're in jail, really helps me to be like, okay, I have no other choice. I just have to focus. Prioritize what's first. Now, I know many of you guys are like, oh, I know what prioritizing is, that's not a good tip. No, I'm telling you, you know those moments when you're at school or work and everything's due. This, this project's due, this is due, this person's emailing you, this person wants answers, this and this and this, and all of a sudden you're like, oh my gosh, I'm so overwhelmed, what do I do? My biggest tip is to think about what is most important, what is due first, and start with that and everything is after that. So when I feel stratospherically overwhelmed, I step back from the situation and I'm like, okay, Lindsay, what is most important right now? What is due first in this very moment? And I start with that and then everything's after. And it's really helped me in moments when I just feel like everything is in disarray and I have no control. And this also helps you because I used to have the tendency of when a ton of things were going on, I would do a little bit of each, but then nothing would get done and this has really helped me reset my thinking so I'm more productive and effective. 
Use your resources or phone a friend. You never want to isolate yourself. In business or when you're pursuing something, you inevitably have questions. Stop thinking you can figure everything out on yourself. Reach out to people. Maybe you have a friend or a family friend or a friend's friend or a friend's grandmother. Put your pride aside. Stop thinking like, oh, I don't want to bother them. Who cares? It's all in how you approach the situation. And I don't care. I'll ask anybody like, hey, do you have advice on this? Or I wanted to get your opinion. Or do you know what I should do? I am always a student. And this is also so important because talking to different people will also inspire new ideas. So I can't stress this enough. Ask, ask, ask. So that's a little bit of my personal story. Honestly, I probably have about 10 more tips that I would love to share with you guys, but I really think that these are a few very important and massively helpful things that I think will help you guys out that I use every single day. So please let me know what you thought of this video. Now you know a little bit more about me that I have um, some ADHD. I'm sure there's a lot of you out there. And if you struggle or deal with this, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. I wanna thank Rogaine also for sponsoring this video. It got me to kind of strip away a little bit and talk about something that I deal with every day, which isn't something that I normally talk about on this channel. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and got a little insight into my world. But ultimately, I also hope that you guys are all successful in the new year and always. And I hope that I helped you get a little bit closer to everything that you're trying to work hard to do. Thank you guys so much and I will see you next week. Bye everyone.